What is wrong with planting new forests? Forest area has been increasing in some parts of the world, but deforestation in other areas is destroying the planet. What's going on? Some maps show that there were big losses in forest cover in tropical areas such as Amazon, rainforests in Africa and Southeast Asia between 1982 to 2016. But many other regions saw an increase in forest cover like in Europe, China and the United States. The real question is, can the trees we are planting make up for those that are being cut down? Planet Earth has a wide variety of forests. They differ from each other in many ways such as biodiversity, tree density, and the capacity to store carbon dioxide. For example, tropical forests store much more carbon than other types of forests. They are also home to the most biodiverse ecosystem. And it is these tropical regions where deforestation continues unabated. And we cannot compensate this loss by planting new trees. Carbon dioxide causes global warming and trees absorb CO2. So technically, planting more trees should mean less carbon in the atmosphere, right? Well, it's not really that simple. Since our childhood, we've been taught to plant more trees. But planting trees can only be a part of the solution as long as we plant the right tree in the right place and for the right reason. In some cases, planting more trees can do more harm than good. If we plant trees in areas where there were no forests earlier, it can damage existing ecosystems. Non-native trees also have a greater susceptibility to pests and other environmental hazards than indigenous species. The trees must be well suited to the local soil, climate and the species that depend on it. Across India, tree planting efforts suffer from four main problems. Planting trees in the wrong places, planting the wrong species and species mix, planting too few species and planting without considering the rights of local people. Scientists have proposed some golden rules for tree planting. Protect existing forests first. Keeping forests in their original state is always preferable. Undamaged old forests can soak up carbon better and they are more resilient to fire, storm and drought. Put local people at the heart of tree planting projects. Studies show that getting local communities on board is key to the success of tree planting projects. A perfect example of this is Nepal's success story. The country saw the forest cover double after control was given to the local communities. Next, use natural forest regrowth wherever possible. Letting trees grow back naturally can be cheaper and more efficient than planting trees. Select the right tree species that can maximize biodiversity. Where tree planting is needed, picking the right tree is crucial. Make sure the trees are resilient to adapt to a changing climate. Combine scientific knowledge with local knowledge. Ideally, a small-scale trial should take place before planting large number of trees. And lastly, the sustainability of tree replanting depends on a source of income for all stakeholders, including the poorest. Planting more trees is a brilliant solution to climate change, but only if it's done right.